Привет всем, 9 августа, время очередного каста. И данный каст будет выложен только на YouTube, потому что мне придется воспользоваться титрами, к сожалению. Дело в том, что совсем недавно вышел новый длинный стендап Криса Рока, которых он не делал очень давно. Все старые его стендапы длинные у меня засмотрены до дыр, и он там очень хорошо проходился по гендерной теме. И в этом выступлении тоже не подкачал. Транслировали его на Netflix. Добрые люди уже выложили его в оригинале, вот, но он выложен с искажением скорости. Поэтому кусок, который я тоже процитирую дальше, там два или три кусочка, они будут в ускоренном режиме. Чтобы услышать их более-менее похоже на оригинал, нужно переключить скорость воспроизведения на полтора. Ну а русский текст пойдет титрами. Нажимайте CC. Со времен прошлого шоу у Криса Рока случился развод. И хоть он признает свою вину и прямо во время шоу рассказывает про три измены и порнозависимость, Приключения, через которые он прошел во время развода, и мысли, которые вокруг этого его посещают, довольно интересные. И во многом пересекаются с тем, что я сам делал, и комрады делали. И вроде бы и юморит, но на самом деле многие темы совсем не такие смешные, как хотелось бы. Местами прям чисто красная таблетка. Так что, кто понимает по-английски, вставляю ссылку в конце. Зацените целиком выступление, но того стоит. Всем пока, удачи. А дальше несколько фрагментов. Ladies, <laughs> take care of your man. Fellas, take care of your wife, your girlfriend. Take care of her, or she will leave you. She will leave you either physically or mentally. A woman can leave you mentally. <laughs> That's right, like Star Trek, this telepath out this motherfucker. There's guys that think they want their wife right now. But no, nigga, she left you months ago. <laughs> she just came because you got tickets. <laughs> she ain't with you, she with me. One thing, the gangster shit in the world, you learn nothing more gangster, nothing smarter, nothing more powerful than a housewife. Housewives are the smartest motherfuckers on earth. People think it's the working woman. No. Suckers work. <laughs> Right. Smart people find other people to work for them. That's right. That's right. They got the housewives of Atlanta. They don't got the working bitches of Atlanta. Nobody would watch that show. No, a housewife's a bad motherfucker. Because the housewife has convinced the husband that it's his house too. There's a lot of guys in here right now think they own the house. Think it's their house too. No. She took that house years ago. And the kids were in on it. That's right. That's right. The housewife's a bad motherfucker because, you know, the housewife got a little time. That's right. So before daddy come home, the housewife get the kids together and they rehearse a little play <laughs> that they do when daddy get home. It's like, okay, daddy gonna be here in five minutes. You know your lines? I miss you, daddy. Good, good. You say that as soon as he walk in, okay? I need you to grab his leg and don't let go. I'm gonna give him a big piece of chicken. And when he falls asleep, we go back to having our house. <laughs> right, fellas, you don't own a house. If you live with a woman, you don't have a house. That is her fucking house. Only man that owns anything is a single man, okay? 
And fellas, here's the test right now. If you, if you really think you own a house, this is the test. Okay, fellas, tonight, when you go home, I want you to try. I want you to try. Fellas, when you go home tonight, I want you to try to hang up a picture of your mother. <laughs> Your house, right? Give it a shot. What's that? It's a picture of my mother. I don't like that frame. <laughs> You'll never see that picture again. <laughs> Maybe at your mother's funeral, she'll go, Look what I found. <laughs> no, you don't want to get divorced, man. This shit is no joke, man. Had to go to a custody fight for my kids just to see my kids, man. That shit's fucked up, man. First of all, you don't want to be a man in family court. And you don't want to be a black man in any court. Yeah, even the black judge comes to work with his lawyer. And he keeps his robe on all day. And writes judge on the back. Just in case somebody thinks it's a nigga with a cape. Is that a nigga on the camp? <laughs> nope, just a judge. Yo, man, I was in court. That shit was scary, man. Like, to not know if you're going to be able to fucking see your kids. You know? And, you know, when I got divorced, I wanted it to be smooth, you know? So, you know, I bought a house around the corner. Okay, like, 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 fucking quarter of a mile, like, right around the fucking corner, damn near the same house. Okay, but wasn't enough, man. I go, I went in there, and the judge was like, uh, Mr. Rock, I need to see pictures of the beds in the bedroom to make sure the children have a place to sleep. Which, 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 you think I got a manger? What? <laughs> like I got a, a million dollar house with no beds? Okay. So, showed him the picture, right? But that wasn't enough. Then, then the judge was like, uh, Mr. Rock, I need to see pictures of the refrigerator and the food inside to make sure the children have enough to eat. I'm like, what have you heard about me? <laughs> I'm Chris Rock, not Chris Brown. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, fellas, I hope none of you get divorced. I'm telling you right now, if you ever do anything good for your kids, take a picture of that shit. If you hug them, take a picture. If you feed them, take a picture. Because you never know when you might need receipts of love. Winter is coming. But it worked out. I got my kids. I got my kids. I got my custody. It's fucking beautiful. Okay. Got my kids, man. I just want them. This afternoon, I got my fucking kids, man. That shit was like humiliating, man. I'm trying to prove your parenthood, man. So I know I said you're not supposed to compete in a relationship, but after you go through that shit, 
you like, like, am I gonna lose my kids? It's like, yo, I'm going hard every time I have my kids. And I always went hard, but I'm going extra hard. It's like, I don't know what you're doing at your mother's house, but we gonna top that shit. Every motherfucking time, okay? Sometimes I bring guest stars. I make sure they go back to her with a story. They're like, Mama, Mama, Drake helped me with my homework. <laughs> Lady Gaga made me a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Y'all think I'm bullshit. <laughs> Check my Instagram, all right? And the crazy thing is, so after you get through the custody thing, then you gotta divide the money. That's fucking scary shit, man. And whoever, whoever <laughs> makes the most money has to pay the legal fees for the person. So I had to pay for a lawyer to divorce me. <laughs> That's like hiring a hitman to kill you. Say, okay, here's a picture of me. I'm gonna be at Burger King at 10.38, okay? Shoot me in the head and give me a call. I know it's hard being a woman, but there's, there's a coldness that you have to accept when you're a man, especially a black man. It's like, the world's cold as a motherfucker, okay? And you get older, one thing I learned, only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. <laughs> women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something, okay? I've never heard a woman in my life say, you know, after he got laid off, we got so much closer. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I once heard my grandmother say, a broke man is like a broke hand. Can't do nothing with it. What kind of gangster shit is that? That's right. Women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something. That's right. Fellas, when you meet a new girl, what do your friends ask you? What she look like? Ladies, when you meet a new guy, what do your friends ask you? What does he do? What the fuck does that nigga do that can help you out? Can this motherfucker facilitate a dream or not? Right now, Michelle Obama is looking at Barack going, what's your plans, nigga? <laughs> How's that book turning out? I need to see some pages. <laughs> <laughs>